and he was afraid to have diarrhea on himself. Mm -hmm. And they sent us out of here. They sent you out of there with no answer, of course. No, him having a hemoglobin of 6.4, him having bloods in his stools. They sent yeah. us out of here and they told me to make an appointment with a specialist. I made that appointment. That appointment was for May the 19th and my son's heart stopped on May 18th. Which is my right birthday, here. which right here that's what freaks me out too because May 18th is my birthday. So it's like between the fact that my son is like that and this happened on my birthday, that's, that's why it's been, you know, it's been affecting my sleep patterns. So how in the world could they sleep when they're the ones actually doing it? to him i don't that that type of evil is just beyond words you know i don't see how they could do this they right think from the very beginning when all of this this covet crap hit yeah not to say it like crap of all of it hit but you know we were we were kind of directed to go here i wonder if he come anywhere with Easton, you know, he was hopeful. He was like, well, if we can't go there, Mom, can we just go back to the hospital where I was born at? Mm. <laughs> he didn't even want to go to St. Joe's. Yeah? He, 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 he thought that they were going to be able to help him. Yeah. He thought that they were going to help him. He believed it. They were going to give him a hand, yeah. He thought that they could fix it. Mm -hmm. And they never fixed it. Not no, they made March it worse. 24 when we came. Not on mm -hmm. April 24th when we came. Not on April 29th when we came. 